Chosen ones, where you are, where you are, where you are, where you are. Chosen ones, back with another powerful and productive video. Yes, chosen ones. Let's quickly do our smiling exercise and then we proceed with the video. Yes, chosen one, make it a point to keep on smiling because you are chosen and not forsaken. You are a child of God and your best is yet to come. Chosen one, you are definitely going to win. You read the title of these video, Chosen People. Yes, you have no idea why God canceled your plans. Oh, yes. I'm telling you, God canceled your plans to save you. God sent you the other way the other direction so you can avoid the danger the trap of the enemy that has been set for you you have no idea the secret battles that god is fighting for you each and every day all the time i'm telling you god is doing all these things in your favor he has you in the palm of his hands he has you in his heart. You are being tattooed in the heart of God. I'm telling you, that is when tattoo begins. Tattoo begins in the time of God. He said, I have tattooed you in my heart. That is where you are. So God is protecting you. God is covering you in this life. He is fighting battles for you. And you are in his plans. In God's master plan, you as chosen people, you are included. In God's master plan, you are involved. He said, I knew you before you were born. I knelt you in your mother's womb. Yes, when you were forming, forming there, I saw you and my eyes are on you yes and i have chosen you and called you by my power and i have inventories on your life the days allotted to you here on earth are all recorded in my big book so i got you covered child of god under the sound of my voice, you are being protected by God. Don't think that this life, whatever is happening to you, is by accident. I'm telling you, there is nothing like accident in the life of a chosen one. Oh yes, everything that is happening in your life is happening for a reason. Yes, good, bad who knows you might be seeing it to be bad but in god's eyes in god's plans it is to safeguard you it is to protect you it is to help you avoid the danger it is to save you from that wicked trap that the enemy has set before you to devour you, to destroy you, to steal from you, to kill you, to mess up the brighter future that God has in store for you. I am telling you, God is a good God. God is a loving God. God is a compassionate God. God is a faithful God. God is a dependable God. God is a reliable God. God is a protective God. Yes, there is nothing God cannot do, chosen people. Continue to keep trusting in the plans of God. Our prayer as chosen people should be, God, let your will be done in my life. And when you wake up and you offer this prayer and you went out and you get what you want, see it as God's direction. And if you don't get what you want to, see it as the protection of God. Yes, that is the only way you are going to live in this life and you are going to have your peace of mind and peace of heart.
stop being against the will of God in your life. The reason why many of us are not happy, many of us are anxious, many of us are filled with fear of the unknown, the future, is because we are fighting the will of God. When God is doing something in our life, God is canceling our plans or has canceled our plans and we did not get what we desire or what we want, we see it to be God, I mean, not trying to give us what we want. So we, 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 we see it to be that we are suffering, but I'm telling you, it is to improve you. It is for your own protection. It is for your safety. Yes, God is God. Yes, he's God, all by himself, chosen people. You have no idea the bullet you've been dodging. You have no idea the wicked arrows you've been dodging. You have no idea how God keeps saving you. You have no idea the plot of the enemy against your life, against your finances, against your family. You have no idea. The people that are against you at the workplace, at that company, at that institution, in that family, in that neighborhood, in that vicinity, you have no idea. The people that are against you, but God keep protecting you. He keep fighting for you. He keep covering you up with his mighty wings. He keep on safeguarding you, surrounding you with his crowd of protection during the day so that the enemy will not get you. He keeps surrounding you with his crowd of fire, his protection of fire during the night so that the enemy will not get you. So that even when you walk in the dark places, the light of God will be directing your path. The light of God will be directing your footsteps. The light of God will be directing your way. This is the time to surrender everything into the hands of God. And you have to know and understand that you are included in God's master plan. I am telling you, you have been positioned for the blessings of God. You have been positioned for the healing of God. You have been positioned for the deliverance of God. You have been positioned for the redemption of God. You have been positioned for the restoration of God. You have been positioned for the divine visitation of God. I'm telling you, if it is not happening now, that doesn't mean God is depriving you of that God's delay is oftentimes God's protection. Oh, someone might have missed it. Let me repeat it. God's delay is oftentimes God's protection. Yes, sometimes that man you wanted to marry and it did not happen is God's protection. Sometimes that lady put away from you. Choose someone that she thinks it better than you. It is God's protection. Maybe you might be thinking, um, oh, you not having your dream house. It is God's protection. Maybe you're thinking you couldn't get that Ferrari, that Bugatti, that Lamborghini, that sports car. But I tell you, it is God's protection. Who knows if you get that car, you will be overspeeding. You will be going places that God is not welcome. And God sees the future. He is the author and finisher of our faith. He is the author and finisher of our life. He knows what will happen from now in the future and whatever. He is a mysterious God. He sees it all. And he know whatever danger that it would when danger you would danger your life. He knows it, and that is why you are being delayed. God's delay is not God's denial. Oh, this is great. 
I repeat, God's delay is not God's denial. Yeah, I'm telling you, your slow motion is better than no motion. Whatever that is happening to you in your life, see it as God's divine protection. Yes, because he got you in the palm of his hands. You have no idea the wicked arrows God has been stopping all for your sake. You have no idea how God loves you. You have no idea what God is doing for you. I'm telling you, if it is up to some people, you should be needy, desperate, and begging and miserable. Oh, yes. They hate you. They hate the way you dress. They hate the way you look. They hate the way you talk. They hate the job you're doing. They hate, they hate that purpose that you are in. They hate the amount of income that you keep making. You, you keep earning. They hate it. They hate it seeing you waking up each and every day. They hate to see you alive. They hate to see your children going to better schools. They hate to see you driving a better car. They hate to see you getting married to that handsome, rich, hard working man. They hate to see you being with that beautiful, good and precious woman full of the grace of God. They hate to see you with such a person. So they've been plotting day and night against you because of you, what you've put on, what you have. Some wicked fellow is not sleeping and casting spell, doing incantation, doing things against your life. But God keep protecting you and your household. Even when you were asleep and you knew nothing, you've seen nothing. Yes, God protected you. I'm telling you, that is God's protection. Some people slept, they couldn't wake up. Some people slept and they were robbed. Some people slept and their home went on fire. Some people slept and they couldn't wake up the next day. I'm telling you, but look at you. We, you and I, we keep going and coming. That is the love of God. That is the mercy of God. That is the favor of God. That is the protection of God. That is the plans of God for our life. He sometimes cancels certain plans of ours to save us, to protect us, to grant us longevity because he knows that certain plans, certain things, if we get it, we can use it to harm ourselves, to stop ourselves, to destroy ourselves. Yes. He knew that certain thing, if we get it, it will make us lose a variable part of our body that he doesn't want us to lose it. He knows that that woman is not best for you. He knows that lady is not best for you. He knows that man is not best for you because that fellow will not be in alignment with you. Scripture says, and the two shall become one. But God is seeing differences. God is not seeing agreement. God is not seeing alignment. And that is why that relationship ended. That is why they chose somebody over you. Be glad that happened. Your life is not by accident. Whatever that is happening, is happening for a reason. And it is all working for your greatest good. I'm telling you, you have no idea what God is doing in your life. Why he canceled your plans because he knew such plans would destroy you. He said, for I know the plans that I have for you, plans of good and not of evil, plans to give you hope and a future. In that book of Jeremiah, Chapter 29, verse 11. Chosen one. God got you in the palm of his hands. Stay blessed. May you be protected during the day and during the night. May your going out and coming in be blessed and be ordered by the angels of God. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in my next video. I'm out for now. Peace. That is the roaster right there. <laughs> That's chosen people.